morning everyone and happy thanksgiving hope you guys get to spend some good time together today with family and friends and eat some delicious yummy turkey and uh, i am going to do a really quick i feel like this will be a quick video uh, last weekend we traveled again and we bought out an estate had a sale and she was a stampin up demo and she also collected house mouse and a lot of her house mouse are brand new and a lot of them are very, very hard to find. Um, so feel free to check out my store this week because I put up 140 new items, I think, this week. And a lot of those are Stampin' Up! and House Mouse. So that's primarily what I'm going to show you today. Uh, so the first one we have here is a largely sought after set, a little bit more on the rare side. This one's called Ornamental Pine. And sometimes I feel like I would love to keep this one, but I'm going to wait until it's a little bit lower in price to keep it because it sells very, very well for me. Um, so this is this one. This one is called Waves of Inspiration. And this one, because this person passed away, um, she was able to, uh, her friends were able to sell uh, the new set. So this one is not retired and I have checked into it and I am allowed to sell new sets as well because I'm not a demo and I have not signed a contract. Um, so for those of you worried about me selling current sets, um, I am fully allowed to. So yeah, this one's called Waves of Inspiration and this one has the matching dies. Very, very pretty. And this one's a lot of fun. This one's called Everyday Hero. This one's like got super mom, super dad. It's got a cute little city. A little comic strips beach bubble there. This one's always a hot seller. This one's called Jar of Love. And I have the stamp set on this one is actually new. And this one I actually have in my personal stash. Um, very, very popular. And this one comes with a very nice quality photopolymer. Stampin' Up! has wonderful photopolymer quality for their stamps. Okay, this one I believe is, I think this one's current. And this one's called Wrap Bouquet. And again, we got the matching dies there. This one I have also in my personal stash with the dies. This one's called Welcoming Window. Sorry, I don't have any samples to show you. I made a few of these and then I donated them to a good cause. And this one cuts out the window, you can cut out the shutters. It makes um, a nice flower box. Very, very pretty. Here is a nice Christmas one, Peaceful Nativity. It's got some beautiful uh, religious sayings. This one has the matching dies. I love the, the wood grain on this die. I think that's fun. Make it a little bit more realistic looking military set right now. I usually don't find military sets, but I want to say I think I have like four or five in my store. So any of you that make cards for the military, um, these ones are great. Okay, this one is called Quiet Meadow. This one, I think it's photopolymer. Oh, nope, it's clean. This one I wanted to kind of keep for art journaling. I think this would be fabulous with art journaling. This one, I actually want to show you the dies. I had a hard time selling this one. I really debated on, on keeping it. But I do have some other floral dies in my stash. This, this die set is great because it comes with these larger, you can tell by my hand here, these larger wildflower dies. <laughs> so yeah, so these are the larger flowers in it. Oh yeah, they are a good size. And then it comes with a little label. There's a couple little tags. Um, some centers that you could put in the flowers. Um, so yeah. That is these ones. And let me quick put this away because I do not want to lose any dies. Especially some of those little ones. The bigger ones aren't as hard but to lose. But the little ones, oh my goodness. Okay, so that one was, again, Quiet quiet Meadow. That's what that one was. Okay, 
Okay, this one is Santa suit. This one apparently is really rare. I didn't realize it until I listed it. Um, Cause yeah, it sells for quite a bit. So this one's a little bit harder to find. I love him in his little PJs there. I think that's so adorable. And I think what you do, what it looks like is these darker stamps are to fill in the outline. So you can either color like with Copics or alcohol markers, or you can stamp in the lines and fill in all those things. Like they even have the little mittens. Those are so tiny on his beard. So yeah, and then a little clothesline that you can hang Santa's clothes on. So that's Santa's suit. All right, one more Stampin' Up! and then we'll move on to the house mouse. This one is called Painted Poppies. And this one I also have the matching dies for. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few. I won't show you all these. There's quite a few dies in this set. <laughs> I got a whole bundle here. But I think I'll show you some of the larger ones. Um, it's got an outline die. I think, I believe that cuts this one. It's got, here's a little design die. This one I wanted to show you. This one is like, I believe it cuts like a nice thin outline. That one would be really, really pretty. And it's got some leaves and stems and flower centers. And this set has a total of 16 dies with it. This one's always a really good seller. There's also matching paper, which I don't think I have in my store right now. Actually, I might. There might be, you might want to, if you're interested in the paper, the paper is gorgeous. Um, check out the painted poppies. Check out the, um, if you type in poppies and then DSP in my store. I think, I think I still got it in there. All right, let's move on to house mouse. So like I said, this lady collected house mouse. And a lot of these are brand new, never been used. Um, and a lot of them have been really hard to find. So for, for any of you that are house mouse collectors out there, I am your girl right now. And I have sold a few already after listing a few this week. This one, I think is my most expensive one that I put up. This one is very, very, very rare, very hard to find. It's a cute little fountain he's taking a shower. I love all house mouse because you're going to see just how stinking adorable all these are. Oh, I'm sorry. And I should probably tell you the names. This one is called Spring Showers. That's how you can find this one. I'm going to have to keep looking at the names here. This one is called Holiday Song. This one, he's got birdies. They're singing a little Christmas carol. This one's a lot of fun. This one's called All Fired Up. I just get a kick out of these. I love them. They're kind of self-explanatory of how darn cute they are. This one is called Tweet Treats for All. The Halloween ones um, are highly sought after, and a lot of them are hard to find, especially the ones that they're in their costumes. This one is called Pocket Fuzz. He's pulling them out of the jean pocket there. Another Halloween one, Pumpkin, Pumpkins, Ghosts, and Mice, Oh My face painting their friends okay uh aromatherapy this one i believe was a little bit harder to find there's that one this one's really cute this is called butterflight this little mouse i've learned through listing these her name is monica and she's a little baby so sometimes when applicable i try to put the mouse names in here too of what they are okay Here's Spring Blossoms. Here is Holiday Merriment. Here are little angel ornaments with trumpets. Got a few Christmas ones here. Wrapped and Ready. That one's really cute. And I think, I think this one is one of my lower priced ones too. If you want to check that one out. This one's really rare. Um, so this one I think I put quite a bit on. This one is called Sweet Find. There's that little Monica again. She's so stinking cute. I think she's my favorite. Jingle Buds. This one's Beach Bums. Another very rare one. Morning Jump Start. Coffee, coffee. Oh my gosh, this one's going crazy. I love, the, I love his face. Oh, and I love this one. If I collected them, I would have kept this one. 
sweet success. Mice pool, chilling out with some lemonade on the beach. A couple of these I had matching sentiments for. So this one is under lip smack and relaxing. And it comes with relaxing is mice. A little hot chocolate theme. This one, you are a treasure. You're a true treasure. Cute little beach one for the bird. And this one, looking forward to a special delivery. I thought this one was like the perfect sentiment for that one. I'm going to grab another one that I forgot to put in this video. Bear with me just for a second. Because I really, really, I really want to show you guys this one. I forgot to grab this one. This one is actually acrylic, but it's harder to find. Um... And yeah, I was talking about the Halloween costumes. This one's got tons of Halloween costume ones. So if you're interested, this one would be an affordable way to get all the little Halloween costumes. Okay, there's that one. I wanted to show you that one. This one is called In the Bog with a Frog. <gasps> Let's zoom in again. There you guys can see that better. Here we go, Peppermint Pals. Got lots of Christmas ones. Here's one for Thanksgiving. This one's called Pumpkin Pie. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be eating some of that today. And here's one of those costume ones. This one's called Little Pumpkin. Little Pumpkin. So yeah. Um, so for, let's see. So for next week, I believe I'm done listing for the week. Because I'm going to take tomorrow and, and go shopping. Here, I'll put something cute up there. Um, but yeah, for next week... I have um, a bunch more um, Stampin' Up! coming, a bunch more House Mouse, a bunch more Penny Black. Um, I'm continuing on the Penny Black collection. This lady I bought these from also collected Penny Black. <laughs> so I have tons of those cute little animals still coming, um, and they keep selling. So I'm going to keep listing them as long as they keep selling. And uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm going to cut out now because I'm going to go spend time uh, with my family. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.